Yes. I do, yes. All the time, yeah. I do indeed. I do, I use the computer a lot. I do, yeah. Uh, both at home and at work. I use the uh, computer and internet daily, uh, both for the job I do and, and for private use. Regularly. We do, all the time. I don't understand them, I can't work them, and I haven't got the money to buy one. And in this deprived area, we've got 108 houses that are occupied. Out of 108, there are eight without computers. And there are another 10 that have got no internet access, but have got computers. The eight that haven't got computers are the people that are over 70 and don't really want to know. <laughs> yeah, my nana. Yeah, my mum. My grandmother. Yeah, my granddad. People who are elderly and haven't learned it yet. Yeah. Probably my grandparents. My mum's learning. Neighbours and friends. My mum. And yes, I know quite a few. Yes, quite a few people. Nah. Yeah, my nan. Too old, really, not really into using it. It's hard to use and you're not really. You should just don't feel confident using it. They tend to be older people, um, or people who specifically are avoiding them for religious reasons. She's probably scared of new technology. Because she doesn't know how. I think because of their age, they haven't been taught at school, they don't use them for work because they're retired now, and obviously they haven't got access to a computer. I think it's too technical, too difficult. She's just not that confident on them because she doesn't use them properly yet. They're older, of an older generation, and they're afraid of it, I think. Eight million. Millions. I can imagine a lot of old people. And um, I heard a lot of people in Sofa don't have the internet as well. Eight million? Probably one out of every 50. Three million? I think probably more than people realise. I mean, it could still be quite high. It still could be as high as about 10 million. I don't know! 10 million is quite a lot. One in six of the population. Yeah. That's huge, yeah. Everything. Communication. Up to date news, music. I guess communication. And all the information. It makes life easy. Everything really music, pictures, videos. Uh, shopping was probably when the weather was really bad. Uh, you know, if I want to find out what's happening somewhere, I look on the internet. Sending emails to people who you don't often see. You can look up your family tree. How did you get in touch with people? Why? Oh, miss out on everything. They miss out on the whole, the whole world. Everything. Everything. Emailing. <laughs> I would miss all my emails. Sending photos to grandparents. I've been able to uh, chat online. Emailing. Communication. Talking to people and sending emails. Emails and just looking up information. And looking up um, times of trains and coaches and things. Everything. Miss having a library at my fingertips. I would really miss it. Zoom in college work, me and Facebook. I can't imagine the world without internet anymore. I'd have to start licking stamps again, writing letters. Getting up to date information. I couldn't make videos. I couldn't talk to my friends. My son in law gave me a wonderful cartoon that says, I love my computer because my friends live in it. We used the telephone, but telephones were expensive then, so we sent letters. No, I can't actually. Mainly carrier pigeon. I used the telephone <laughs> and wrote letters. I had to rely on books more um, or telephoning people. And, uh, the internet makes things easier. Get on it, get started up. It's a good thing to do. Go for it because there's nothing that you can lose out on. It's such a great way to meet new friends. Do it. There's a whole world out there. Be prepared that you're going. there's going to be a whole new world in front of you and you need to discover it. Just don't be scared of it. Do it. There's a whole other world out there. It's a whole new world out there. If you think, I don't understand why I didn't do this earlier. Go for it. Give it a go. Go for it. I will advise any other person to try to be online. I'd say go for it. Um, we taught a lady that's uh, 87 and um, she uses it all the time. She sends me emails and she does a shopping just like I do. Um, don't be frightened and ask anybody for help.
because you'd be surprised how many people will help you because they've all been there and you will enjoy it.